What makes coil unplugs modules go bad? What makes cops go bad? Well, the same thing that makes any coil go bad, whether it be an old 62 Chevy Tower oil-filled coil or a brand new 2016 Chevy with a uh, three-wire smart coil go bad. Open secondary, that can cause coil damage, it can cause module damage. So think about it, if you got more than two wires, you got two functions here. You have basically an ignition coil and an ignition module. That's what's in all of these that have more than two wires to the connectors right here in the harness. They are ignition modules and coils built into one. And so what can kill an ignition module? Well, high voltage spikes, um, EMI, bad grounds, intermittent power sources. Spiking can cause module failure. They don't like that. They don't like excessive heat and they don't like excessive vibrations. They don't like to be dropped either. So if that happens, you might not want to trust that coil. You might want to get another new one out of the box because it may fail either immediately or soon after you put it in the car. So it's like any other module. You wouldn't drop a PCM, you know, three or four feet to the ground, pick it up and throw it in the car. Same thing here. So if we have an open secondary or super high resistance secondary, and many of you remember cranking the engine on an old HEI car with a distributor, and maybe it was somebody else's car, maybe you're just moving it from one stall to the other, or maybe a service advisor did that to you, and you went to lunch to go get some spark plugs on your way back to the shop, and now all these spark plugs are out of the engine, the plug wire is just hanging there, somebody cranks the engine over, you remembered what happened, right? If you're old enough to be a tech in those days, the ignition module got spiked as all that high voltage was built up in that old coil built on the top of that distributor and it just killed that module. So the spark occurs that can kill modules. The same things that happened with the HEI coil in distributor can happen with coil on plug when we have an issue with high voltage secondary having a problem either because of a bad plug, it's essentially open, it's so worn out it might as well be open, or Something has happened to the spring, some overheating issue, corrosion, rust, whatever got in here, or somebody left it out, it's the wrong one, you don't have the right application, therefore this is not fitting firmly down in that head on top of that spark plug, corrosion on the plug terminal itself, any of those things that cause excessive resistance, cause that voltage that's being built up to look for another path to go, it could knock out the transistor in the module section of the cop. So there's an issue. We can also have internal crossover it's called carbon tracking. Make a little trace like a scar internally between the primary and the secondary, zap like that, and that's when we have a permanent trace that even when the secondary high resistance issue is repaired, example being this GM coil near plug, where I have a short little plug wire going down to the spark plug, if that's got high resistance because of the internal circuitry of the plug itself, or because of maybe the connection at the plug wire terminal onto the spark plug, whatever the case may be, any high resistance secondary, higher than normal, can cause the spark to say, you know what, why don't we just jump across from the secondary to the primary. That's a good path back to where I started, and it makes that trace. Now you fix that plug wire or that worn out spark plug, and now it runs okay at idle and light throttle, but when you have tons of air packed into that cylinder's air gap in that spark plug under heavy load, that's when the voltage demand is so great, the electrons taking the path of least, re least resistance say, you know what, why don't we go jump across that little scar tissue, that little carbon trace that was burnt internally between primary and secondary windings. Now sometimes external carbon tracking can be seen visually. You see little burnt little arc marks. But if you don't see that, it could still be inside and it would only miss out sometimes, in some cases, under load at the worst possible scenarios. You have a very intermittent ignition misfire. So the same things that's been happening with DIS, even the older systems, occurring with the coil on plugs. And because they're a little smaller, a little lighter weight, they tend to be a little bit more prone to this. That's why you're putting more on than you used to with a single coil mounted somewhere in a lesser hot spot of an area.